Hi everyone, welcome back to Scholar Rides. This is a new video. I am going to explain you my setup of uh, my new Mac Mini M4. I have ordered a new BenQ 27 inch monitor. I will be going ahead and doing a setup for that. So let's begin the video. So this is the new Mac Mini M4. It's not new, it's a 2024 version of uh, M4. I got it recently. It's, it's about 50,000 bucks. And uh, if you can see here, is the Thunderbolt ports. You can attach monitors, Type-C cables. You can extend the monitors to three monitors. Uh, there is a HDMI port here. There is also an Ethernet port. And this is the power cord. In the front, there are two more. You can maybe attach your wireless mouse uh, if it's a Type-C. There is also an aux for audio output. And uh, this is how it looks. It's a small machine. It's a five inch machine, but uh, it's a beast of a machine. Let's go ahead and configure this. I have done the initial power setup, so I'm not going to explain that. So I have a basic power input which is connected to this monitor this is the power cable of the mac mini which is connected to a ups that i have i will plug in this power cable in the mac mini i also have a hdmi connector for this particular monitor so now this mac mini is connected to one of the monitor so these two are the two wireless devices that i'm using as inputs one is a logitech wireless keyboard and another is a logitech wireless mouse and uh, this is a type a so i cannot directly plug in the type a into the mac mini to solve that issue i am using a type c hub so this is a hub which i can plug in into the mac mini it's a type c hub it has usb type a and hdmi and also a type c so i can connect an external monitor here if i want to extend it with a hdmi cable i can connect a type a here also a type c so i'll be plugging this into the mac mini I also have a wireless headphone, it connects with a uh, Type-C, so I can plug that Type-C in the hub. So now with this Type-C hub, I can connect to my wireless headphone, I can connect to this wireless keyboard and mouse. I have ordered a new screen from BenQ, I will be setting up the new screen on this base setup and let's see how it looks. This is the new BenQ monitor that I've ordered. In the box we have a monitor, we have the HDMI cable, we have the power cable is to set up the base of the monitor this is the bracket of the monitor let's go ahead and start configuring the monitor for the new setting we have the stand ready This is how it looks. It's a 27 inch monitor. There are two ways how you can connect the monitor to the Mac Mini. One way is to connect it via a HDMI port. Another way to connect it is by the Thunderbolt port. It's a type C port basically. So you can use them to connect the monitor to the Mac Mini. So this screen will act like my primary screen since it's a 27 inch screen and the other screen will be my secondary monitor. So this monitor power cable is a 16A power cable and I don't have a 16A connector on my UPS, so I bought a plug which will help me connect the 16A power cable to this plug and from this plug I will be connecting it to my UPS. My main power source is connected to a UPS, it's a VGuard UPS. VGuard UPS is connected to another extended cord. From the cord, I have given power to Lenovo monitor as well as my Mac Mini. So this is the power cable of the Mac Mini and the power cable to the monitor is being connected. This is a bigger monitor and it's come with a 16A power adapter. So I cannot connect it to the cord directly. So I have connected it to the UPS with a 16A converter plug. So we'll do the first thing first, we'll connect the main monitor's HDMI to the HDMI of the Mac Mini. We will connect the power cable of the Mac Mini. I'm placing it here for now. 
so this c type hub also has a hdmi port and this is where i'll be connecting my lenovo monitor hdmi port of the lenovo monitor will go into the hdmi port of the c type hub and this c type hub is going to be connected to the mac mini i'll be connecting it on the thunderbolt port because it's faster to access it and all of these cables for now i push them down I have also connected my wireless keyboard and mouse to the C type hub. All the necessary connections are completed. I will power this up and let's see how it works. That's my UPS. I hope you can see the Lenovo screen. This is the BenQ power button at the bottom of uh, the Mac Mini, which is also something I felt as a disadvantage. So if I press that, you can hear a pop-up sound. I'm not sure if you heard that, but yes, it's powered on. So we have twin screens connected. This is how both the monitors look like. This is the more brighter one because it's a 400 nits brightness. This is close to what we have on the iPad, on the iMac, on the iPhone. And this is a 250 nits brightness. So if you compare these brightness visually, I can say that this is brighter and this is not so brighter, but it does the work. All of this setup is done within a budget of 80,000. The new BenQ also has an inbuilt speaker so you can hear the voice quality as well. And the old monitor that I have doesn't have a speaker and this also has a speaker but it's not up to the mark i hope you like the video and if you do please subscribe any questions or comments please write them down i'll see you in the next one